guys, what's going on? Big Rob, MakeBeerEasy.com. It's on the TV. Pretty cool. Um, you can check me out there. You don't know who I am. I'm going to start doing um, just some little um, quick kind of tips, um, thoughts on homebrewing from time to time. I got this idea because I posted something yesterday on one of my, uh, I think it was Facebook. I did it on Instagram too. And I uh, got some neat conversation, um, some replies from it. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, what I posted yesterday is what I'm going to talk about today. And I posted something along the lines of how resilient beer is and not to freak out if you mess up on brew day a little bit. Um, I can't tell you how many times I messed up on brew day and ended up with beer every single time. Um, and sometimes I ended up with a better beer than what I would have if I hadn't messed up. <laughs> Go figure on that one. Great example is um, uh, when I owned my brew pub, one of the first beers I brewed on the new system over there, so I wasn't used to the system, was it was somewhat of a Sierra Nevada type clone. So uh, an American pale ale with a nice cascade and all that stuff. Um, but I ended up calling the beer Down and Up Pale Ale. Totally had to change the name for what I wanted to call it. The reason why we called it Down and Up is because we totally mashed up, mashed up, messed up during mashing. Um, and as you can guess, down and up. We, I think at first what happened was, I don't know why we didn't call it the up and down, because I think what happened first was our mash temperature was too high. So we added cold water to it, um, brought her way down. And then we said, ah, oh, crap, now it's too low. Um, so we cranked up the old, um, the old burners, the elements, and got it fired up. Didn't realize how fast the system would heat up. Shot way up high. <laughs> Added more cold water, brought it down too low. <laughs> so it was a down and up ale. It turned out to be one of the most popular beers at the pub and one of my all time favorites. Um, I love the beer. Um, am I able to duplicate exactly what I did with the down and up? Obviously not. But uh, you get the point. So my point is this is make beer easy. Okay? Don't, you're not, you're, you're not, you're not out to be, you know, opening the next major um, brewery maybe you are um, they mess up too I know a brewery um, they uh, they didn't have um, they they brewed one of their more popular beers didn't have the right yeast for it something messed up with the yeast completely changed it they were using an ale or a, a British yeast added a uh, American yeast beautiful beer turned out completely different character it's amazing um, what the yeast will do completely change the beer now they brew both those beers exact same ingredients different yeast two separate beers and both beautiful beers so relax I mean different things could go wrong but I uh, one thing that's always happened is I've always ended up with beer so who knows you mess it up um, document it because it might just turn out that it's the next big craze you know did New England still go the way they did because uh, somebody said hey let's make a hazy beer I don't know maybe they did my gut is Somebody messed up, made a hazy beer, and uh, everybody said, hey, that's really great, love that, and there you go. Bob's your uncle, New England IPA craze went crazy. Who knows, don't come at me if I'm wrong on how that happened, but I'm surmising that's what probably happened. Um, something along those lines. So, all kinds of things could happen. I'm not going to run through the different things that could happen. What happens if you had, um, had the last beer I brewed? Um, I thought I had, uh, I think this is how it went, I either thought I did or I said, screw it. Oh, I know what happened. My, uh, my uh, beer supply guy, my ingredients. Didn't have all of the two row I needed, so I said, screw it. I'll make up the difference with Maris Otter. Who cares? Um, different, you know, I'm not going to sit here and try to think all the different things that could happen. Maybe, um, um, you, again, you miss your mash temperature. That's a big one. Who cares? You're going to make beer, make beer anyways. Uh, maybe you don't hit your, your gravity. Who cares? You've, you've made good beer anyways. Just document it. Take notes. Relax. And have fun. Just making beer, guys. That's what I got. Um, message of the day. Relax. And uh, you got any questions, guys, reach out to me. Uh, hit me up on my blog, makebeereasy.com. All kinds of tips, training stuff, um, recipes, all that stuff over there. And uh, if you're on YouTube, like, like and subscribe and all that jazz. Big Rob, he gone. After I come over and hit the he gone button. Later, guys.